Hi Levi, hi Seth and Jess and Sean. Welcome to, oh my goodness, I don't even know, week five of our online at home learning. Um, Levi, I got a chance to speak with your dad and he said that you were doing really great with some of the activities that we were doing. So we're gonna keep some things and then we're gonna change some things up this week, okay? And you just keep on practicing. So let's start off with counting from zero to 20. And I know that dad said that you're really good at counting from zero to 10. So let's get started. Are you ready? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's take these a little bit slower. What comes after ten? Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Good job. If you know zero to 10 really well, you can start practicing 10 to 20 all by yourself. Great job. Let's count backwards now from 10 to zero. Are you ready? Don't forget all the numbers. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Great job. All right, let's practice recognizing our numbers in random order. And this was something that dad said that you're really good at, Levi. So I thought this week we would do all of them. So are you ready? In random order, here we go. This number. Good job, 18. Six. Five. Did you say two? Good job. Oh, here's a tricky one. Nineteen. Here's another one. Sixteen. Good work. Fourteen. Great job. Did you say eleven? You're right. This is an easy one. Three. How about this one? One. Lucky number seven. Another little tricky one. A 10 and a two. 10 and a two. Did you say 12? You're right. Eight. Four. Seventeen, you're right. Nine. A few more. This is the number 15. Thirteen. You know this one. You're right, 10. 
Last one, are you ready? The number 20. Good job, Levi. If you've got the numbers 1 to 10 uh, memorized and you know them, then just practice the numbers from 10 to 20, okay? All right, let's do... Um, Mom and Dad have said that you're really good at the one more than. So we're going to start to do two more than. Are you ready? So I'm going to hold up a number and you have to skip count by twos. So for example, if I hold up the number, what's this number, Levi? You're right. It's the number eight. Levi, what is two more than eight? Two more. So one more would be the next number, which is the number nine. And two more would be the number eight, nine, ten. You're right. Good job. So you can use your fingers. You can use counters. You can use Lego pieces. Um, you can also use dice, right? Okay. You can, um, what else could you use? Let's just try it, okay? Are you ready? We'll just do a few. Levi, this is the number two. What is two more than the number two? Two more. Did you say the number four? You're right. Two, three, and four. Good job. Let's try this one. Three. This is the number three. Levi, what is two more than the number three? Two. Sorry, three. What comes after three? Four. And then what comes after four, Levi? Five. So we started off with the number three and we're adding two more. What is two more than the number three? Good job. This is a little tricky, but you can do it with some practice. Let's try one more. This is the number seven. What is two more than seven? So you can think about seven in your head and then counting on from seven. So adding two to seven. And if it helps, you can use your 10 frame too if that's working really well and that's great. Seven. Eight. That's one more. Right? Seven, eight, and nine. Good job. Keep practicing. Let's try one less than. So it's like you're taking away one. So remember in the 10 frame, we did this last week as well, where we had, let's say we have three. You see my green cubes there? Three. What is one less than three? So here's my number three. Where is it? Three. What is one less than three? So it's like taking away one, isn't it? So if I have three and then I take away one, one less, what number am I left with, Levi? Two. Good job. 
That's right. So I want you to practice that for a little bit, okay? So the two more than, and then one less than. Let's try another one. Let's say we have the number five. What is one less than five? One less than five. Did you say the number four? Good job, Levi. Nice work, kiddo. Great job. Keep practicing two more and one less. All right, let's do some adding and subtracting now. So I've got my counters. I'm going to show you um, a question and you can use your 10 frame to um, use your counters and count uh, count the numbers, okay? I'm getting tongue-tied here. So let's try this one, Levi. So two plus three. So there's different ways that we can do this, mom and dad, as well. We could actually go one, two, and then we could put the three here, one, two, three, so that he starts to recognize that two plus three is the same as having this whole row filled. So if he starts to recognize that this is five, then he can start to recognize that two and three, if we shift those up there, that makes a whole row of five. So that's kind of another way of um, learning with the 10 frame. So two Levi plus three more, one, two, three, four, five. Good job. You could also use different colors so that he knows that it's two out of a pile and then three out of another pile. Oh, you can't see the yellow. Just get a different color. How about pink? Two, and then, I don't know if you can see that, the light there. Two and three, and um, they keep falling out. All right, let's try another one. So we have two plus three. Let's try this one, Levi. Four plus two more, just like we did before four plus two more. So again, we can take one, two, three, four, and two more. Can't really see the pink, but they're there. And then we count them all together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good job. One more. Six plus three. So use your 10 frame. Show me six and then show me three more. How many do you have all together, Levi? If you said the number nine, you're right. Six plus three, I'll put that one now. Oh boy. Six plus three is nine. Great job. Let's do some subtraction. Let's focus on taking one away. Just like we did um, with the cards, right? Where we looked at the number and then we did one less. So this says five take away one, or f what is one less than five? Same thing. So again, if you use your 10 frame Levi and you put five 
two, three, four, and five. Five. Take away one equals four. You're right. Good job. Let's try one more. Three, take away one, or what is one less than three? So show me in your 10 frame, three, and then take away one. How many do we have left now? Did you say two? You're right, Levi, good job. Nice work. So continue to practice those skills, Levi, counting from 10 to 20, practicing those numbers. Continue to count backwards from 10 to zero and don't forget all of those tricky numbers. And then using the 10 frame to do your addition and subtraction, doing two more than a number and one less than a number. Continue to practice that as well, okay? And next week, We'll add a little bit more and we can show you something new again. Um, Mom and Dad, don't forget that you can continue to use flashcards is great. And also, um, you know, the little domino pieces that we, um, that I suggested last week. That's a great um, way to do it as well. Um, and then these, the digits. So the numeral and then the dots and then the 10 frame is another great way to represent numbers. Okay, happy learning. See you soon.